draft special town meeting warrant, mm -hmm. which is just basically putting this into the, the shell mm -hmm. that we've already been using. Um, and we, we can maybe talk about one of the articles right now if you'd like. Um, the article for our the um, to digitize our records. I don't have a, a number for that. I wanted to give you an update though because in order to get that number, I've asked someone from King's Information Systems to come in and to um, spend some time reviewing our records, um, taking a look at our inventory, and helping me to come up with the right number. Um, the hope is that. Excuse me, Kelly. Are yes. we talking about the STM at this point? No. No, no, I'm done. Oh, could, could, I thought you were. I thought you were saying that that was going to be in the yeah. STM. Yeah. So can we just go through the STM? What we oh, have sure, here and, sure, yeah. yeah. And you're going to prepare this for Monday, as you yeah. said. The STM. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put it in the And you're going to us as a doc. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But just to talk through them now in case there's some sure. questions yeah. about what, what, what the thinking is for each of the articles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the uh, reports, if any, I'm not aware of any reports, so I don't think there'll be anything. Prior year bills, I'm not aware of any of those at this point. However, we keep the placeholder just in case. Budget amendments will start as soon as we get, we've got the budget um, for FY19 set aside. Then we do a scrub when we go through all of our budgets, we ask all the department heads to make sure that they are on target to come under budget. If there's any gaps or shortfalls, um, we start to do an itemized list of where we will anticipate the need for an amendment of the FY18 budget. So just, as of right now, I don't have any, um, but there most assuredly will be some uh, because we don't have a magic um, eight ball to tell us exactly how much we'll spend in whatever area we we're dealing with, but um, that would certainly be something that we would be um, starting to pull together once we get our budget, once we get the, the warrant document all settled. Just that it's very close in our minds. What about snow and ice? Where are we? I have two people to look at here. I was not going to be the one to ask Dave that question today. Do we have a feel After he's had no are? sleep for a week. <laughs> I, have, I haven't talked to him about it specifically. I looked at the budget. Uh, but that After was, the that, last, that, that was a month yeah. ago. The yeah. last budget had I had was a month ago. Then. You got to give him a couple of days. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he needs to catch up I mean, on the his guy is a walking over. dead man at this point in time. And, uh, okay. I don't, I don't want to talk to him yet, but budget. maybe tomorrow. Budget, certainly. I got to go up there tomorrow. Anyway, so I'll be happy. Yeah. yeah. All right, so they'll, they'll come in. We'll get the data. Um, the uh, Council on Aging Programming Space, I was recommending that we just um, use any tailings that we could to pay for that for 3600 rather than have it come out of next year's uh, raise and assess or raise and appropriate um, in the budget. Um, that certainly is, you know, the recommendation, but, you know, the FinCom, they can decide however they'd like to handle that, but sometimes it just makes it easier if we can take off some of the low-hanging fruit and put it on a special town meeting warrant so that we won't have to add the, you know, those additional costs into next year's tax base. Uh, public records management software. Ne um, no, the next one is police oh, tasers. Oh, am I missing one? Police tasers. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. So I'm going to have to update my list here. Well, we're, we're, looking at, we're looking at a different sheet than you are. I, yeah, I know. This is sort of my cheat sheet that I haven't right. updated, so it's right. my fault. Uh, police tasers and the Maya Safety Fund for traffic safety. Um, those are two. Those are two amounts that we could easily recover with our uh, Maya Safety Fund or with money that has that we've received back from Maya in our credits. And these items were originally on the capital list, but I felt that they were a low enough uh, price point that, and they were also more importantly there closer in alignment to risk management um, and mitigation um, so that we could use monies that um, we've accumulated or excess appropriations over the course of FY18 so that we could purchase um, items that are of a safety nature. In this case, um, the tasers, would there'd be six at 1,500 each would come to 9,000. 
and then um, the traffic safety trailer for all the could, could supplies just go through, and have, equipment. We just go through the wording and how that works out. I, I, I'm sure. not sure I follow how we do this. If we're getting a Maya credit, it says recommended that the town vote to transfer from free cash and appropriate the sum of nine thousand dollars from the property cash and the insurance budget yeah. to the police department of the town to purchase the six uh, tasers, whatever. I would probably so change from free, free cash. cash. It's, what's yeah. that? Um, oh, it says so that, free cash because it came from the original capital okay. list, so, and so now that it's going to be put back here and transferred, it's, it's going to be a transfer. It's from from that from account. the Maya yes from the Maya insurance the oh. FY eighteen insurance property insurance casualty account that's in the budget. Okay, to the tune of a couple hundred grand, right? Okay. No. No, 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 all right. Because we get credit okay, see, for all so of our training fix... and early pay discounts and all of that. Well, the question is whether we need these things or not. Did you read the article in the paper either this weekend, either in the Globe or the Wall Street Journal, about the fact that police departments all over are looking for a way to use non-lethal uh, methods of apprehending people? Now, we already have tasers, though, just for people who might yeah, be listening. We, do. Yeah. Yeah. we already do have tasers. This is to get new updated ones yeah. because they didn't yeah. run out of yeah. their ability to work well or something like that's that, right. correct? Yep. Isn't that right, Kelly? That's why we're doing it? Yes, I believe we, we got a couple last year, though. So, well, but we didn't get enough of the whole three. department. I was thinking we might have three. Yeah, we, this, this would... And now they're asking for six more. Just something. so that we can get everybody up to speed with the right technology. Um, they're requesting mm. six so that everyone will have the most updated technology and, by the and way, they're cheaper. Do we know, have you told them why that they, this is one of the things that they clearly accept right away as an appropriate use of that money? Okay, so this is our own, this is our money. This isn't, this isn't yeah. Maya's money. This is not Maya. We call it the Maya Safety Fund because we're utilizing money that would otherwise have gone to pay for it's our a premium, premium that we're not using. It's an so when we when we budget, See, when we budget, for our insurance costs for next year, we take what they say is our projected um, cost. Mm -hmm. And say they say it's like going to be $100,000 for our insurance. If we pay early and we go to a lot of training, and when you go to the MMA meeting, if you go to a session, you sign your name, we save money during the year. Detail. And we get money back. That's different. That, that's so a particular part. Getting that we budget, current, I understand. Right. We budget, and then by the time we go to town meeting, we know that we're going to have excess appropriations in that Detail fund. So we use that. Tailing from that. Tailing from that. Well, that is two different. That, see, there's two different things you talked about. Tailings because we estimate it in the actual request. What? To say that. Yeah. To say that. Well, the Maya That's thing one. she's talking about reduces your premium. So you still wind up having. And you have money left over, right. which we didn't have to spend for insurance. So she's the just credit mm -hmm. that you get by going to a class or running a class here, or whatever else, mm -hmm. reduces what was the bill. Yes that we've budgeted for for the year. I did not understand how the credits work. Yeah. Thank you. Because no you don't idea. know them ahead of time and they never guarantee them ahead of time. You're mm -hmm. never quite sure. Mm -hmm. So you always hope that you're going to get those credits. So we could use that money in any way we wish to. Mm -hmm. I did not understand that. I yeah, basically that it's a reduction of the I, premium. I, I understand mm -hmm. it's a reduction of the premium, but I thought that they Mm -hmm. Because they were giving you the reduction, is that you have to apply no, I think Kelly's I got not to talk to you, just <laughs> suggesting it's consistent with, yeah. with the original. With the original. Just to not have a clerical. So oh, in, the yeah. in the first one, I think ultimately that will also not be free. Yes, cash. correct. Yes. Yeah. There was a time when we had to fill out a form that would explain how we would use some monies that Maya may avail for us. What were those monies? It's a separate thing. Of yeah, they have a That's few different what I programs. Call them credits. There's two other programs. One is a grant program that you can apply for, yeah. which we've done and we've gotten money for that for backup cameras and DPW. And there's also another program that they just started a year or two ago where they'll give you a certain portion of money to pay for your own grant that's not included in their grant program. So we were able to utilize, I think, maybe $1,500 last year to buy the equipment on the ambulances <coughs> for drug control. So we use a portion of that. Basically, it's they're giving us a grant of our own money or their money or our money, a discount, and they allow you to spend it on, and they get to buy it for you, and you just basically apply for it. But it's outside of the realm of their normal grant program. 
But the way that grant is provided is again by reducing some. No, that one that is they, they say we um, we would we can give you thirty. You have thirty six hundred dollars. We're going to give you in a check that you can use it for this year, for next year, um, or you can use half of it this year for a grant, or you can use the whole thing for a grant. They they are just trying to be flexible with the way that they're providing us opportunity to use the money to help with risk management. So they they have multiple programs. But this is one way that we can take money that's already been appropriated for our insurance and rather than spend it on premium, we're spending it on things that will help us to be safe and to not have to use our 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 um, you know that will decrease liability. But the point is we have full discretion on this. I didn't oh, know yeah. that we had full discretion. On a grant we don't have discretion because Correct. we have to get them That's to right. approve Correct. it. This is not a grant. No. This is this is this credit is not a grant of sorts and it is our money to use any way we wish to. Correct. You're suggesting that we use it in this way. Thank yes, you. but we have for the past four years used it for this type of purpose. Mm -hmm. We did Makes the sense. security sure. door at the library. Okay, let's move on. It's also another good way to take some of the capital lift the capital requests off of the capital list that would normally be taxed for next year. It allows us to take some smaller, lower hanging fruit that's related to safety and pay for it this year rather than wait till next year or wait for free cash in two years. So, so a couple of ways of looking at it. But it puts the pressure on us to, of course, to be very careful, even if it's a grant source, but especially since it's open money, that the expenditure is ranks within all the other expenditures within the town to ensure that we're spending it in the right way and it's necessary. Oh, of course, yeah. Um, so, sometimes it's not true with a grant. You either get it or you don't get it. Right. And so you don't have to rank it with everything else. Yeah. But in this case, it needs to be ranked with everything else. Uh, the cable, the cable um, reserve fund professional services. Um, what, what, what about the... Uh, oh, sorry, I keep jumping back and forth. I'm sorry. Safety trailer. Uh, the, oh, the highway dump truck stand with plow. The one that yeah, caught on fire. The safety over traffic safety oh, equipment. yes. We'll get to it later. Yeah. Well, the same. The, so the the traffic safety equipment and supplies. Okay. We have an empty trailer with nothing in it. Yeah. And if we can utilize some of the funding, we can help improve visibility and signage and safety barriers at certain intersections during the Topsfield Fair, for instance. Or even if you use, you know, for a while we said, well, we can always borrow during the fair. Sometimes. I, I think the chief has said that they will borrow things from other towns, um, which is fine for the fair, except that, as you know from all of the power outages we just had, sometimes you can't be relying on other communities to provide you with basic safety things like cones and blocking roads. So they had suggested quite some time ago that if there was um, the opportunity to fill that trailer with traffic and pedestrian safety um, items that they would be able to use it as sort of a, a, a mobile traffic safety, they can bring the equipment to a particular intersection or if we're having an event on the common and we need to block the street, that we would have all of that, um, all of those equipment um, here with us in our department so that we can use them as need be rather than depending on other communities to provide those I, to I us. can't believe we go to another community to get the blocking. I mean, obviously, we just had a whole bunch of it now yeah. with the yeah. outages. So it, it doesn't make sense that... <laughs> We're getting it from some place. What's the difference? What do you mean? We We're won't have to go to, ask the neighbors. In the last week, we've had a number of outages, yeah. trees down, whatever else. we put yeah. up signs and such. We did not get those, I'm certain, from Danvers or Middleton or Boxford. We got them from some place. Where did they come well, we from? Have a and why supply. do we need something new? We have a limited supply of what we do currently use, however. And it's working, right? I'm trying to understand. We're, I, we're, I, we're I just, we just made it through the last two weeks, so to speak, which was probably a lot of equipment that we needed. Well, we're but talking just about to why it's visibility important. going towards the fair when there's a road closing at the bridge. Yeah, that's, that's a fair thing. That's, uh, okay, I understand. But, but that's just one example. There's but, other traffic safety mitigation equipment that we could be using so that we can increase visibility and increase traffic in vehicular and bicycle safety throughout the town. And the chief suggested that if we could outfit the trailer with uh, public traffic safety, pedestrian safety equipment such as cones and barriers and safety barriers and safety signage, that that would allow us to reduce um, reduce risk 
for our pedestrians and uh, travelers um, at certain so sites I, throughout I the town. I think going into the town meeting, special town meeting, really, we need to have an understanding, a list, essentially, and a cost I have a list. of what. Oh, great. Uh, I think it'd be good if we could see it. You could just send it to us too. But yes, I think we need that for town meetings. Sure. But if we could go through it, I think it'd be helpful. Sure. And have to transfer from property casualty insurance. Correct. Which is okay. Yeah. And then finally, on this list that you're looking at, we have the highway dump truck sandwich plow. We are getting thirty-three thousand dollars back from the insurance company for to assist with the replacement. They don't have replacement value for equipment that old, which is why it's going to cost us $145,000 to purchase a new truck. Um, after the $33,000 from the insurance and rest, uh, from the insurance restitution account or wherever when we get the check, there'll be there's an additional $61,000 from ATM turnbacks and so that's those are um, appropriations that were previously approved but weren't fully spent. So we've collected, uh, I'm not sure how many, there's at least a dozen of articles that we sort of, we're trying to clean up accounts, clean those out, and we're going to utilize all of those with this article. And I have to get the wording for this. So this might be one that we need to get the final wording um, after, the town, after the town accountant is available so that she can um, update uh, where all those funds are coming from so that we can have a detailed warrant article. But the intent is that we would take all of the tailings from all those ATM articles and we would put them into one to help fund at least $61,000 of that $145,000 cost for the new truck. Um, and then whatever else is left over, um, we are going to be um, trying to, um, we'll be able to identify any excess appropriations to come up with a balance. So that seems like a great plan, assuming we don't have a massive snow and ice deficit, in which case we will be back to the drawing board. Um, in the meantime, well, the fact, that's the fact the of the matter is, uh, we're short a major truck now because of the fire. That's the truck we're replacing. It happened to be the oldest truck in the fleet, which we were lucky for. Uh, it was totally destroyed. Um, and we're running with a rented truck at this point in time, an old truck that's uh, rented to us by a friend, by a contractor that had these types of vehicles. And that's what we're running with. Uh, we're just fortunate no one was injured. That's right. Very fortunate about it. Uh, it's critical that we do this now because from the time we place the order, it's about a year to get the truck. So. We're looking at the possibility of if we don't get moving uh, to even have a problem next year when winter time comes. So we got to we got to move on that now uh, in order that we can continue our level of service. Again, in summary, from my, the thirty-three thousand is from the insurance company. Correct. So it has right. value. You said something to the effect that they don't. Have anything that old, or but the, the, the company is actually giving us the, giving us, they're allotting us thirty three thousand dollars against the cost. Well, of the, the point you're trying to make a lot of a lot of our vehicles are uh, insured for replacement of actual cash value, and on a vehicle this old, they, they that, don't. That wasn't right. covered. Well, okay, that's that's what you, that's they they that don't the provide deal. that to anyone. No, we were hoping that we had actual cash value. That would have been that, great. That that's that's understandable. Yeah. That's a, Thank you. We did salvage. I, agree with that. I know that. We did salvage the sander out of this thing. So uh, the back of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. There wasn't much okay. else. Yeah. So there's only three other articles right here that, or right now, that are on this list, and you don't have them drafted here. Um, but I will do that for um, in preparation for Monday's meeting, and that is the the Council on Aging Programming Space for 3,600. We had that in the beginning. We just talked about that one. And the public records management. Oh That's yes, we do. Public, Public records, records management. Again, this is this is really just a suggestion by me to the FinCom that, um, and actually the the forty five is the total cost. But what I was actually thinking about, and we talked about this very briefly, was that if they're looking for a way to take things out of next year's um, um, raise and assess, that not forty five hundred, but perhaps even the one time cost of the twenty five hundred, we uh, might be able to pull. About? What subject? 
public records management oh, software for management. the town clerk's right. office. Okay. Um, oh. The total request was $4,500, oh, and I was suggesting software. that we would perhaps use $2,500 this fiscal year within the special town meeting warrant so that we could get that software sooner rather than later. Um, and so that's why I have it on this list, and I just have to formulate the wording <coughs> for that. And again, it's subject to the FinCom's, um, you know, to their discretion and how they would like to do that if they want to do it at all. Um, so certainly I will be drafting those and giving those to the FinCom for their discussion at their FinCom meeting. And then the final, um, there's two articles on here. Um, I thought that I had them here. Um, it was the cable. These won't be that difficult to come up with, but the cable and peg reserve fund, um, professional services, uh, $6,000 represents um, a portion of some legal fees this year for renegotiating or um, the cable contract, and I believe that there might be, a, I'll get you the details on this, but this basically represents the money that we needed to that we need to spend this year that's related to cable um, that we didn't appropriate last year during the town meeting when we voted to excuse me to start the new fund. So last year at town meeting we voted for a new special reserve fund for cable and that was required by law. And what we appropriated for that was based on what our request was from Oxford Cable Television to do that. So since we approved that at town meeting, and now there's, there's been some additional funds necessary for paying for the legal fees related to the cable um, negotiation of the contract. So really all we're doing here is trying to get that the um, additional money appropriated um, in this fiscal year so that we can get those bills paid before the end of the fiscal year. And then there's um, the cable reserve fund capital equipment. Uh, totals about $76,000, and uh, again, I will get you a list of what those items are. Um, all of the cameras, the audio, um, the broadcast system for the new town hall um, that will allow us to have full functionality and um, much better auditory and visual um, recordings for all of our public meetings. So we have been meeting with Brad Sweet. Um, to itemize a list of what those articles are, what those items will be, um, every, um, and it includes a broadcast system, which we need to upgrade to if we want to have the, the high definition um, capability for the cable um, broadcast. So I will identify that for our um, discussion, um, and we'll get you, uh, so I'll be working on the draft warrant for special town meeting with all of these items so that we can review all of those at your meeting on Monday. I think that's, oh, and then the town hall envelope project, we just need a rescind bill <coughs> because we voted an additional $50,000 and we, um, when we were doing the, the envelope project. So because we got the grant from the Historic Preservation uh, Commission, we don't need that additional 50, we didn't, we didn't even have to go to borrow the extra 50. So basically we're trying to rescind the authorization so that that doesn't count against our debt um, ratio or our debt portfolio. So, so that's really a housekeeping. Project? No, this is from the town hall oh, project oh. when we did the um, envelope oh, project. Oh, 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 oh. For 226000 we only needed to use 177000 So we're just rescinding it. So that's more of a housekeeping item. And same with um, the purchase of the, the dump truck sander. Let's add town meeting. That's going to be within the special town meeting. Yeah. So that's what we have on tap for the special town meeting warrant at this point in time. Any questions on that? Yeah, I, I have kind of a um, process question. I would just rather be explicit and know where we do or don't stand. Mm -hmm. So I know you told us many times, but so today's the 14th. I'm not trying to be silly. Yeah. The day that um, it goes to the jail. There goes the printer. It's what they get. The twenty-seven. The printer, not the not the jail. The printer. <laughs> the printer. Okay. So, twenty-seven. So twenty-seven. We're, we're within a couple of weeks. Yes. Okay. And our next gathering is Monday. Yes. Yep. And that's a work session again. Yes. Okay. So I just am trying to be to where we are on language, not on the numbers. Obviously, that mm -hmm. doesn't develop. So 
you, you took, again, I just rather throw it up there. No, thank you. I appreciate the clarification. So you opened up to suggestions from selectmen. Yes. You received some from me, you received some from Mr. Guillen, you received some from Mr. Jackson. Mm -hmm. Is Spencer all set? Do we know? I mean, I'm I not don't sure want if he's those all set. coming in in a week. I respect the, the great work he's doing for the town of Masco, yes. but. Okay. I will be, I will confirm with him okay. what so is the You status. better confirm with him tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just going to call him tonight on my way home. Okay. Then, at, at what point, I don't want to use the word cut off, but at what point do we confirm that the language is acceptable to at least a majority of select? 26th of March. No. That's no. Not my the 19th. No, I, I think, think so. I, I think it's like. Yeah, right. if, if it needs to be the 19th. Can I? Can I? You know, I'm not trying to single out anybody. Oh. You, if you don't mind me asking you directly, you, you put in X number of proposed changes. Kelly used her professional judgment to accept Y of them. Are you okay on the rest? If you're not, I'm trying to set a calendar for when we would deal with them. Well, hopefully we're going to deal with anything on Monday to the extent that we can, but I don't think we're ready to sign it because I suspect some of the numbers won't be in. Yeah, but I guess I'm looking for, I'm not trying to be formal, but I guess I'm looking for at least a consensus that there's a certain date, which I'm trying to determine now, by which the language is, I'm going to use the word acceptable, it may not be unanimous, but I, I mean, I, I, it's been a year since I suggested that we do this two year, two weeks earlier. Yeah, yeah. And and we have the potential maybe for two weeks, but for we're getting close. <laughs> we're getting close. We're getting close. Right, right. Right. So I don't want to have us live through, um, you know, Friday at five o'clock before the Monday when it's got to go to the print. I mean, if we, I, I don't want to be here Monday night till midnight, but I'd rather do that and leave here Monday night. I guess that's my suggestion. If we need to vote, then we vote, or if it's a consent, you know. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yes, we want to get well, as much done as we can. So, so we've got a work if session. You, I'm not, you can be one second, uh, please. And I'm not trying to put you, I'm really not trying to put you on the spot, but if you have any matters that you believe still need consideration, yep. can you bring those for Monday's meeting? Absolutely. I mean, just because we yep. know what we went through. We, we, uh, we talked about the one a week ago today or whatever. It was going to be available Friday. Yep. It came in at 4.15 today. Yep. So we really didn't have what we thought would be the weekend and whatever okay. else. I'm so I'm assuming that. that we'll have, I have that, plus we're going to get it, you're going to get all of these changes that whatever we've talked about in there so that we have time to look at them before Monday. And so okay, but doing you, but that, anything, well, any, anything that's not satisfactory, I'm not saying it's just for you, it's for all of us. Yes. Anything that's not satisfactory yep. will bring forward on Monday. So that we, we have okay. the we have the um, ability to bring closure, but for numbers on Monday. Am I am I uh, is this helpful or is this? I, I don't want to go through what we haven't passed. Yeah, uh, last trust me, I don't either. No, I I don't either. I would ask that if there are any from the version you got this evening. Because we've had two days of closure, and I was here all day on Saturday, and a day last week, and I didn't see your changes on Friday. They were emails, and so what added to my wait a minute, no, I can't, what added I to, what added right, let's to look forward, let's look forward. Let's, let's not look backwards. Look, We're all doing okay, the best but I, I'm tired of being thrown under the bus because of the perceived notion of one or more members of this board. Okay, I, I'm, I'm and gonna, I'm delaying. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. That, that's, we're not talking about that. Okay. We're, 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 okay. we're going forward. Not. I'm that's looking. not what I heard from Selectman Green. Right. But I, I have the floor, Mr. Well, Chairman, for a moment. I'm trying to be productive. Thank you. Okay. So whatever it snowed, I shoveled four times. My back hurt. We all have been through what we've been through the last couple of days. But I'm very sincere in trying to bring this phase of the process to closure by the time we leave our meeting on Monday. Okay. Which is like, a, I'm not even being facetious, it's like a miracle compared to, to you <laughs> know, it, I think that any of us, and I'm not, this is not directed at you, it's a directed at this side table, can make mistakes when we have, the next morning it's going to the printer. Right. I don't want to put us in that. We're not going to do that. I appreciate that. 
So we with that sign, in mind, just a second, but we'll sign it on the twenty sixth. Yeah, right? I, but but I'm asking I'm asking for a commitment. I'm not asking for a vote. I'm just asking for a commitment from all three of us, and I'm hoping we can bring this from Mr. Spencer also yeah. Yeah. that anything that's not yet been any concern of a select room that's not yet been addressed will be brought at the late I, you Monday. Know, you, yeah she will give it to Kelly earlier or something but so that we can address it Monday and again I don't want to be here till till midnight but I'd rather do yeah. what we need to do we not have any other things could on I, Monday's could agenda? I just suggest yeah. one one thing that would make my life yeah. and therefore your lives that much easier is that whatever you have right now, 24 hours, if there's anything that I've given you that you have in your hands, I'm not talking about the special town meeting warrant, I'm speaking of, because we have spent, I have spent many, many hours trying to get this to a point where there won't be any significant amount of additional changes to the warrant articles that I've presented to you this evening. I would only ask that if there are any further changes to those articles that I gave you tonight, that I would know at least 24 hours from now so that I have Friday to make those changes and to give them to you in their updated form so that you can review them on Monday and everybody can give me the thumbs up on at least those articles. What that does for me is it helps to segregate what I've already given you, many of which have been mm -hmm. on the table for quite some time, yeah. and that will help us to, to compartmentalize to an extent, the special town meeting warrant articles that you have not, in your defense and mine, have not fully seen in form. So I would only ask that the things that I've given you today, that within 24 hours, if you have any any additional comment or suggestion, that I would get those by tomorrow at um, 535. Okay, so I don't have any. Correct. Okay, I'm just letting you know right. I don't have any. Right. Okay, I'm done. Okay. So okay. what I'm, and I'm not, I'm, I'm I'm bottom of my head, I'm not trying to personalize this in any way. I'm concerned about the fact that Selectman Gant submitted X number and that all your suggestions were not accepted. Okay, so if we, if that's okay and you can live with it, great. If there's anything we need to talk about further, then I'm just asking that we do that Monday, not yes. later. Yes, agree. Monday. That's all I'm trying to say. And that will make it easier for me to explain. Here are the three articles where there's still outstanding issues. Let's put those on the table for Monday to get those cleared up. But and if she's, it requires but she's a She's got to have those changes early enough to get them into our Monday package. Right, right. so if there's stuff you're still yeah. not comfortable with, right. you got to flag we it. We need to let you know. Yeah, right. and, and, you're going, and you're going to take the comments that were made today and bring those in to Friday's version. When Friday's version comes out, will you produce Friday's well, version? Well, today we didn't. We had a couple of. We had some changes that we made, right? Okay, I'm going to go through my notes. Well, do I have to remind you, for example, that we had uh, the, the, the question of Article 6, where there was the capital expenditures. That will be resolved We're tomorrow. Provide. So, so that, mm -hmm. that's going to be in there. Yeah. Um, in the case of the uh, cemetery, we're going to fix the language as far as the Hearst House, mm -hmm. clean that yeah. up. Mm -hmm. take, okay. That, that's what I'm saying. You're going to take care yes. of those things yes. plus... The things that, for example, we added one in here, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And where are we going to stand on the street acceptances, just so it's clean so we know what we have? You're going to change the numbering at yeah. all, or, okay? Okay. Okay, so, so realistically, when can those revisions be researched? On Friday. So Great. That's what I said on Friday. That's right. That's what I thought you said, and that's good. So we have the weekend, Friday, the weekend, to look at it, so that Monday morning, if there's some input, there's one you, thing, if there's ten things, discuss. whatever. But they got, they have to be brought out. Please, on have to. I'm requesting they be brought out in time for us to do the Monday. Night. I think Absolutely. we ought to agree that Absolutely. when we leave Monday night, we're going to vote on it, and it's done. But for any numbers, but for, for any numbers, numbers that the can't vote, vote on it, you don't have all the numbers in it. Yeah, but you can. But I can vote over verbiage. verbiage. I you can, can. You can. You can be. We're not going to change any more verbiage. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the point. point. That's all. Okay. That's the point. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Capital budget request. You've already done. Yeah. 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 
we're done. Okay. What? I don't Cal even think we need an except on executive session this evening. Um, well, you don't have Because I haven't talked with ASME. I was going to apologize to our audience because I didn't announce in the executive session, but we're not going to do it anyway no. because it was set up for the ASME unit for parks and cemeteries and highway, and uh, they're not ready. <laughs> we're not ready. They're not ready. They're not in the executive session. We're, but but we want to do capital, right? We, we, we well, we've already gone through we were supposed some of them. I can I, I what the I capital can, budget was something that we were you, going to see in the middle of January. We yeah. haven't seen it yet. Well, I've been busy working on your amendments to the, the warrant. So, and the other thing that I mentioned was that we're waiting for this number for the records management and document conversion project. Everything else you have before you, and I can certainly answer any questions that you might have on Monday. Well, here's one dated February 25th. So we have seen something since the middle of but January. Well, it's in the warrant. That's effectively the, the process. We've been talking about some of these for months. Whatever other questions you have, please let me know, and I will be sure to address them on Monday during our work session. How did you want to handle that? We were, on, we were going to vote on that memorandum. We were. And um, I can tell you that I told you at Monday's meeting out, that we were going to vote on that, on that uh, yeah. memorandum of agreement. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. I thought there was a whole discussion about trying to do it in, to simplify it was the last thing I remember discussion about trying to simplify what was there because it was very complex. Well, that was your discussion. I think it I, was. No, but Mark also was talking about something about every two years instead of every year or whatever. I thought we were in discussion. I, 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 we were all backed off that. I, ra I raised, I definitely raised that. I believe that there was a reply that said that in order to make it work with the current incumbents, that that was not wise to create an issue for them. And that we would be revisited. I think there was an acknowledgement yes. of the complexity, but that it was needed to make it work for the people who are in those positions now. And that that they would likely be revisited ex contract. I thought there was I absolutely did that, but I thought there was You're correct. And we did talk about trying to see the, the next time we do this contract, it'll be much easier to make it simpler, mm -hmm. and that was the that was the predication on which we left Monday night. I thought, yeah. and nothing has changed to make it simpler. Nothing has changed at this point in time because they didn't want to do it, and in my opinion, they're charged with the operation of the fire department. I'm not going to run the fire department, and I'm not going to tell them how to set up their pay scale. We can talk about dollars and all that, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about telling fire chief how to run her department. So I'm I'm open for any discussion that anybody else wants to talk about in terms well, of what would be the appropriate form of a motion uh, okay. um, vote to approve as it was stated in the warrant. I mean in the warrant. In the um, let's see to approve a settlement agreement and vote for a memorandum of agreement as uh, between the Town of Tossfield and the Call Firefighters Association for fiscal years 2018 through uh, 20. And the memo that we're approving is dated March 12th of 2018. So moved. So. I'll second. So. The data in here, there's two things that I'd like to talk about. One will be this uh, quote, $50 incentive issue that we had also with the full-time firefighters. But the other is first coming back to what we were just saying, simplify it somewhat, the pay amounts. So what's happening here is we're introducing, as you said, a grid for the firefighters. and. There's various levels of firefighters, firefighter EMT, firefighter uh, paramedic, uh, firefighter 1-2, meaning trained in, at levels 1 and 2, they're always done together, uh, EMT or firefighter, whatever, uh, paramedic. 
let me just give a feeling for the numbers as they come out as the last I saw it. Like it's the same as we saw then on last uh, two days ago, Monday night. That, for example, a firefighter EMT basic who had uh, less than a year's experience last year uh, coming into uh, this July 1st <coughs> would get a 15% increase in wages. Someone who had one year and moved to two years would get 18% raise. Someone from two years to three years would get a 21% raise, and from three years to four years would get an 8% raise. And four to five would get a 14% raise. I think that this, this amount of raises, because this is not just for the one year, so to speak, this is kind of laid in for the future, and it is cranked into a collective bargaining agreement. So there's essentially no wiggle room on us. We are hardwiring this into our pays. If we simply look at the change in percent from this less than a year to one year, one year to two year, two year to three year, the increases for ever when somebody comes in until there's a new bargaining agreement would run something like, not something, exactly this. From less than a year to one year is 6%. From one year to two year is 3%. From two year to three year is 2.8%. And from three year to four year is 2.7%. And four year to five year is 5%. And from five year to ten year is five percent. This is not the salary or the wages, excuse me, the wages alone that would be increased. That on top of that would be any increase in, if you would, overall wages that go to everyone. So you have to take that number that I provided, six percent, three percent, three percent, three percent, five percent, and on top of that add whatever it might be, zero, one, two, three percent, that we added to the overall amount of pay. I think that these are uh, clearly egregious. Um, I, I don't see how we think we can re continue to stay in business doing something like this. Um, I, I can't possibly accept the union agreement. Now, you may say, you know, they're going to run the department between how Kelly and the chief want to run it, but I think we have a fiduciary responsibility as executives of this corporation, incorporated town of Topsfield, to be responsible financially. And I don't think we're doing that when we approve something like this. Secondly, the other area is, again, this uh, special $50 per night for three people each night without the ability to put it out as a simulation on paper or on a computer if somebody wants to do it. If you can't do it on paper, I, I think it's folly to write it into a contract and try to do it. Again, I suggested that if it was anything that was done, because we're dealing with unions, try to do it as a side letter for a year to see how things might work. I'd rather see it, uh, not rather, I'd like to see it on paper first, and then if it looks like it could work, then do a side letter and try to do it. Uh, with all of these things said, I cannot, I cannot feel comfortable approving this for the town of Topsfield. Or for the employees, for that matter, because over the time, it will not serve the employees well. It's unsustainable, and I think we're being dis, uh, dishonest to them to suggest that this sort of thing can reasonably continue to go on. It's going to stop at some point, and it's going to stop big time. I just want to confirm that these are called firefighters. They are called not firefighters. Not full time firefighters. Correct. Correct. These are called firefighters. Well, you haven't talked anything about the fairness of it all for the call firefighters. <coughs> We've got call firefighters come into the department, new call firefighters, for $12.84 an hour. No, no, We're asking, 94, just to be yeah, yeah, We're asking these people to get up in the middle of the night to take care of us for $12.94 an hour. They're trying to fix that. 
They're trying to be competitive with the other towns around us. Other towns around us have figured out a way to do it. I told the chief the other night that as far as I'm concerned, she's making some real progress in, in managing the fire department. I'm pleased with the morale issues. I've talked to some of the firemen, and she said we now have people competing to see who can respond to calls faster than the next guy. Okay. So she's making some progress, and I want to continue to give her the ability to make that progress. And if, if you call that a roll of the dice and a gamble, then uh, uh, I'm willing to do that for a period of time. So you have suggested that we have people coming in and making $12 an hour new. But these are people who chose to come in as call firefighters and get that kind of money. So they signed up for it. But secondly, they, but they don't. Secondly, they're working hard to come in more often and make that kind of money. We can't. And we say that we have to increase them. Now, you know as well as I do that that $12 an hour is just the very beginning. You bring somebody in who has this idea of less than a year and has no EMT yet, is an exterior firefighter. These are the low end and very few that you would tend to have. However, again, saying they are taking on the job and happy to do it, apparently, from everything you've said. They're delighted, whatever, and they're working hard to come in and do more of it. The rates are unreasonable. And we still and we still don't get enough call fire riders to go out at night. She's trying to incentivize that to try to get those people to respond. And I think that's appropriate. Because when I need help in the middle of the night, I hope somebody's gonna show up. And you hope somebody's gonna show up that has training in those course. As I said when we discussed two nights ago, the full time firefighters. We do not have what I understand to be a vision. We talked about a first step without understanding what the next steps will be. It seems to me if you're going to step up on something, you'd like to know where you're going. That hasn't been provided yet. Secondly, of, of, of the things that go on, we had a study committee that made a whole series of recommendations. You shouldn't be cherry picking one item out of it. I don't, I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to hear about that study committee. Okay, but, that was but, a bogus organization, and you know it. Well, you know that that I, was a very. I went through. Very well I went through all of their uh, their their uh, uh, credentials, and I was excited about the people that were that we appointed. Okay, but it turns out that they were jaded, and they were jaded from the start. So don't tell me about what the fire study committee did and what they recommended. Uh, however, I'm not ever going to change your mind, so I'm ready to move on if we're ready to vote. Are you ready to vote? I am. Uh, we have, do we have a motion? Yeah, do we have a motion and a second. And a second. I um, we can sit here and discuss this more and more and more, but like I said, I'm never going to change your mind, I'm sure of that. And uh, more than likely, you're not going to change mine. So I'm ready to move on. We've got a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. <clears throat> that is the final item on the agenda, I think. Move to adjourn. So move. Second. All in favor? 651. Aye. Aye. So we've got to take these back. So that yeah. Out of it? She, gave me, she, she gave me a lesson today on how to handle it. I said, we're going to get a little better as time goes on. Yeah. <laughs> if there's anything you want out of the books, um, take it out. If you leave it in, I'll be... See, what you just want to make sure that they make sure that they might be able to do it as well. Or it's longer than it's done by the end of the year. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so everything in here, you're, you're good with.